The Haramein High Speed Railway, a 450 km mega project, connects two of Saudi Arabia's holiest cities, Mecca and Medina, with the coastal city of Jeddah. Built to make travel easier for millions of pilgrims, the Haramein Railway provides a faster, safer, and more convenient way to move across the kingdom. After almost a decade of work and a heavy investment of around US $9.4 billion, the railway is now fully operational, cutting down travel times from hours to just under two and a half hours. But why is the Haramein High-Speed Railway such a big deal? Today at Ultimate Megabuilds, we will look into how this massive project came together and what the Haramein High-Speed Railway means for the future of travel in Saudi Arabia. HHR was created to handle the growing number of pilgrims traveling to Mecca and Medina each year. With millions coming for Hajj and Umrah, the pressure on the roads was intense, especially during peak seasons. The highways between these cities would often be jam-packed with cars and buses, making the trip long and stressful. While this caused delays, it also increased the risk of accidents. The HHR provides a much-needed solution, offering a faster and safer way to travel. What used to take several hours by road can now be done in under two hours, allowing pilgrims to focus more on their spiritual journey rather than worrying about the commute. The trains run at speeds of up to 300 km per hour, making travel between Mecca, Medina, Jeddah and the King Abdullah economic city smoother and more efficient. This project also fits into Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, a national plan aimed at improving infrastructure and expanding the country's tourism sector. By investing in modern transportation, Saudi Arabia is preparing to welcome even more visitors in the future, ensuring that their experience is comfortable and hassle-free. The HHR is a big step forward in making the country more accessible for millions of pilgrims every year. The HHR stretches across 450 kilometers of electrified double-track railway designed to handle speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour. This cutting-edge rail system connects five key stations, each playing an important role in Saudi Arabia's transport network. These stations are located in Mecca, Medina, Jeddah, King Abdullah Economic City, or KAEC, and King Abdulaziz International Airport, or KAIA. The Mecca station is located near the Third Ring Road, making it easily accessible for the millions of pilgrims traveling to the Holy Mosque. Its design ensures that large numbers of passengers can move efficiently through the terminal, especially during the busy Hajj and Umrah seasons. The Medina station on the eastern side of the city provides a similar service for pilgrims traveling to the Prophet's Mosque. The Jeddah station, located in al Sulaymaniyah, acts as a central hub connecting both domestic travelers and commercial visitors. As Jeddah is a major urban center, this station is very important for facilitating business travel as well as tourism. The King Abdullah Economic City Station supports the rapidly growing urban area, providing easy access to both residents and tourists. Lastly, the King Abdulaziz International Airport Station connects international visitors, especially those arriving for Hajj and Umrah, directly to Mecca and Medina. Although not all trains stop at the airport, dedicated routes ensure a direct, convenient journey for those arriving from overseas. Together, these stations create an efficient transportation network that helps millions of passengers travel across Saudi Arabia. The construction of the bullet train was carried out in two major phases, each focusing on different aspects of the project. Phase one of the project laid the foundation for the entire railway system. This phase primarily involved the construction of the railway infrastructure, including the tracks and stations. A major part of this phase was focused on the development of bridges, tunnels and culverts necessary for the safe and efficient operation of a high-speed train system. In total, 137 bridges were built during phase one. These bridges were essential for crossing various obstacles like roads, valleys and rivers along the 450-kilometer route. Apart from the bridges, the construction of over 800 culverts was another key task. Culverts allow water to pass under the railway without damaging the tracks, which is especially important in Saudi Arabia's harsh desert climate, where flash flooding can occur. The goal during this phase was to ensure that the infrastructure could handle both the heavy train traffic and the environmental challenges of the region. 
Stations in Mecca, Medina, Jeddah, and King Abdullah Economic City were also designed during this phase, incorporating modern designs and state-of-the-art facilities. On the other hand, Phase 2 of the project focused on the installation of advanced railway systems. This included everything from signalling and telecommunication systems to the power supply and overhead lines that keep the high-speed trains running smoothly. The signalling systems are critical for ensuring the safe operation of trains at such high speeds, while the telecommunication systems enable real-time communication between trains, stations and control centres. One of the most important parts of Phase 2 was the procurement of the trains themselves. A total of 36 high-speed trains were supplied by Talgo, which is a well-known Spanish manufacturer. These trains, including a special VIP train set, are equipped with advanced safety features and are designed to handle the extreme temperatures of Saudi Arabia's desert environment. The Talgo trains are also known for their aerodynamic design, which allows them to reach high speeds while maintaining stability and comfort for passengers. The focus of this phase was on delivering a technologically advanced system as well as on ensuring that it would be operational for many years to come. To that end, a 12-year maintenance contract was put in place, ensuring that the trains and infrastructure would be kept in top condition long after the initial construction was completed. The stations along the railway were designed with both comfort and efficiency in mind. Combining modern architecture with traditional Islamic influences, they are spacious and easy to navigate, with wide open areas and high ceilings that create a calm atmosphere for travellers. Each station is equipped with modern amenities like shops, restaurants and VIP lounges, ensuring that passengers have everything they need during their journey. There are even mosques within the stations, making it convenient for pilgrims to perform their prayers before or after travel. When it comes to safety, these stations are built with the latest technology. The signalling systems ensure that trains run smoothly and stay on schedule, while the control command technology monitors train speeds and spacing to prevent any potential accidents. The advanced telecommunication systems keep communication open between trains and control centres, making sure everything runs efficiently and safely. Passenger comfort was a top priority when designing the trains themselves. Inside, travellers will find comfortable seating, quiet cabins and a smooth ride even at such high speeds. The modern technology used in the trains ensures that they run reliably, allowing passengers to relax and enjoy the journey, whether they're travelling for business, leisure or pilgrimage. However, the economic benefits extend beyond tourism. The HHR has created thousands of jobs, both during the construction phase and through ongoing operations and maintenance. The construction of the stations and rail infrastructure involved a significant number of local workers providing employment opportunities across various sectors. Moreover, the increased flow of passengers has boosted local businesses, especially in areas like Jeddah and King Abdullah Economic City, where new hotels, restaurants and retail outlets have sprung up to accommodate travellers. On an international level, this project has benefited from the involvement of major global companies. Talgo, a Spanish company, supplied the 36 high-speed trains that are currently in operation. Renfe, also from Spain, has played a role in the maintenance and operation of the railway, ensuring that the trains run smoothly and efficiently. Siemens, a German company, was involved in the development of advanced systems, including signalling and control, which are essential for the safe and reliable operation of the trains. While this international collaboration has brought world-class expertise to the project, it has also strengthened Saudi Arabia's position as a global player in infrastructure development. Well, that's all we have for this mega railway project. Let us know what you think about this plan. And don't forget to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating projects around the world. We'll be back soon with another exciting video.